right guys we're on the final check of my 21 to 22 season uh for everything except for beaver which goes till april 15th but last couple days have been very very discouraging uh really disappointed we have not caught a single thing in two days uh changed everything up a little bit yesterday once i realized the first day that something's not right uh i don't know if it's the bait or not that i was using i'm setting on pretty good signs so we switched things up i added some muskrat to a bunch of these boxes as well as some boars delight and uh we'll just have to see what happened but definitely definitely frustrating and our mink set never did produce that's just crazy oh well it is what it is we gotta go polar now well it's good to know we definitely didn't take everything out of here maybe we got two or three sets of tracks going through this tube uh, footprints right here on the ice uh, still plenty fur running around guys we're just digging traps out now and uh getting everything pulled so still plenty coon around i definitely got to Got to learn some stuff for this late season. You know, always, always trying to improve. That's for sure. Hey, we got our first coon. Uh, this is actually set up here underneath these rocks where they're coming across, guys. But uh, just pretty good sized crick system, and we set up here on the high side and got us a nice coon. So gonna get him up here, and uh, at least we're catching something on the last day, fellas. There's been a lot more tracks coming through here. <laughs> hey. hey. I think that switch helped. I like that. You know, we we went to uh, put some muskrat in the hole and some boar's delight on the rim up here. Whew. He's froze down in there pretty good. Nice, good sized coon. He's got a little rub rub on the back of him, but. I'll tell you what guys i'm so happy we're catching something today because the last day of season i was pretty discouraged the last couple days uh really really disappointed uh, that's coon number two out of three buckets so i'm happy about that you know we don't have a whole lot of sets out but we got enough to to hopefully pick up three or four more not gonna get near the number i was wanting to but i will take it i'm just pulling into that new area that i've never been to uh, that i talked about where i went straight for the first time and instead of turning right <laughs> we got us a good one Looks like he's frozen to the ice though. That's gonna suck, but nice big coon here, guys. I tell you what, making that switch really helped. Uh, you know, switching to, to more of a meat bait with some uh, boar's delight on the top definitely made a difference here. Actually, he wasn't frozen there too bad. He melted the, the ice a little bit and left a few guard hairs on it, but. Maybe there is something to these boxes. Here I was thinking I need to switch to solely DPs again next year, but we are three out of four here. It's not too bad guys, I'll take those odds any day. Looks like they're still, this is either him or we had a couple more walking through here yet, so. Actually, you know, we're probably four for four because that first one was snapped off and I had some uh, hair in it. Which, I mean, leads me to believe that, uh, you know, he probably reached in. These boxes are something I bought. They're kind of rigged up a little bit. But I think if I modify these boxes just the way, you know, there, there's going to be several experiments done next year. Probably try and make 10 or 12 boxes of three or four different styles and see what I like best. And then the following year try to shoot for maybe a hundred of them who knows but definitely glad to be rebounding on this final day man it's been disappointing last two days thank you well we got our first catch in a weasel box of the very last weasel box of 2021 to 22 season so 
no weasel this year but i'm making plans we'll get it figured out and we're gonna get one but at least i caught something in one of these things oh well, we had a couple more dead locations let's see hey the oh so elusive possum still no shortage of them in iowa that's for sure still plenty of plenty of muddy footprints coming through here too so i mean all the way up yeah we definitely we didn't hurt the population any here guys well getting a possum on the last day too so that's all right we had a couple three or four dead locations here and good to be picking up something again oh. don't know what the deal is here that's just really weird i don't know what they're getting at maybe there is something dead down here i don't know it's just weird but i've got a blank here but that's all right uh, we're gonna film as much as we can but i did not have the uh did not get it charged here the last two days camera's been sitting in my truck so i don't know how much battery we got left but it's not a whole lot so we'll film what we can and hopefully catch a few more guys well, you want to talk about a missed opportunity here. We got everything pulled. Now I'm just kind of looking at spots I missed, kind of going through my, my beginning season areas, checking things out, and wow. <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely a missed opportunity here. Um, but that's part of it, guys. You know, like I said, I'm learning too. So this is kind of a, a new new ball game for me. Uh, looks like we could even maybe get a mink coming in out of that that hole in the ice, but it is what it is guys, so I might have to get a second GPS and just go around uh, This winter yet and mark all these locations and that way come late season next year I've got a GPS set up ready to go for all these late season spots um, You know where I can either rig up a dig a DP system to where I'm not having to break into the, the ice and stuff or get these boxes and buckets made that I want to. Uh, I've got options here. Just, you know, it's not a bad idea. I think I might do that here this Friday. If I, instead of working on fur, I might just start driving around and finding these late season trails and marking them on my other GPS. And then come late season next year, I got a GPS ready that's got, you know, 150, 200 locations on it and we're just ready to go. Uh, always looking for ways to improve guys, so. Just frustrating last day and you miss an opportunity like this but that's part of it uh, this is probably one of the best coyote crossings that i've come across yet uh several several sets of tracks and you can see where they're forcing themselves under the fence versus a deer go over so pretty crazy uh not much cover here though to really make a, a snare set and you can't snare the fence because i'm in the road ditches but uh definitely a spot next year i could probably make a blind set since i come right through here anyway uh, we're only about 100 yards from that spot where I caught two giant coon that almost were 60 pounds combined uh, just down the road here. So take a mental note and uh, be more prepared for next year. Well, just got home uh, through the other battery from the counter and the GoPro so I could show you what we ended up with. Uh, took home five coon and a possum. This wasn't the last three days I was hoping for, guys. I was hoping for something a lot better than this, but... Uh, it was a learning curve you know i'm not used to these boxes buckets type thing normally i'd have my dog proofs out there and i tried something new so not giving up on it uh switched baits out like i said i went to more of a meat based uh bait using some muskrat parts and some boars delight on the the boxes and buckets but it is what it is fellas so uh just because season's over officially midnight tonight doesn't mean i'm done learning i'm done you know driving the road seeing what i can find uh, i think i am going to take my second gps and go mark all these late season locations now uh they're running like crazy so let's find those locations let's get a map made out and a year from now hopefully we can come out there with 100 150 locations and uh really do some good you know i didn't have out near the stuff i thought i did i only had out like 15 uh boxes total uh five weasel boxes six weasel boxes i'm not sure and we caught one in my house so pretty disappointing but you know what hindsight's always 2020 and uh i learned a lot 
and now it's time to uh, finish some fur and get ready for spring beaver season so thanks guys uh i'll have to post the total in the description here i'm not sure where we're at right around 1050 somewhere i believe uh i'd have to look at my last video to see actually where my my last number was because I, I forgot to write it down so anyway thanks guys and uh we'll be doing some lives and some work in the fur shed here next month or two for for beaver season hits but i got some big plans for that hopefully catch about 100 beaver and about six checks if everything goes according to plan so take care guys and uh we'll catch you in some lives